that didn't really engulf me into the story. Kind of. Well, they're not the story, but the game itself. Like I knew I wasn't really playing a different version of Mountain Blade. I knew I was playing like a pretty bad mod. I I. I for some reason downloaded this uh, Glasgow mod because I was just looking for mods. It was my first time looking for mods, and there's one called Glasgow. I did not know that that was like an actual town in like Scotland or something like that. Glasgow. Glasgow. Was it good? Was it good mod? No, it, w it was pretty horrible. It was like a little cheesy <laughs> like Google Maps thing that you're basically walking on, mm -hmm. and a lot of it was just about like the street gangs in there and stuff like that. So like you would walk around with like a gun and stuff, and everything was super like cheesily just like cardboard taped onto there and it was just literally the worst experience and you start off as like a thug or whatever and basically it was just a gangster life like it was just it, it sounds better how I'm saying it but it was like playing this game on a PS1 and, <laughs> and the storyline made by like a four year old that's into like Scarface it was it was not good at all it was it, definitely a horrible experience um, something that I always wanted to try was doing a full mod like this with but, but multiplayer. Like, I don't know if I would have already. I, I would have loved a multiplayer mod. Yeah, like full map like this, you can get in your own battles and things like that. Cause we, you wouldn't be playing on the same computer. Yeah, exactly. We would basically just we could team up. One of us could be the king, or we could both be kings and just be in a cool. Now, would we go on to the same uh, on the same group, or would we be able to actually have different battles? And uh, then I was thinking we'd be it would have to be a pretty good mod. Yeah, but I, I would would be hoping that there would be different different battles. You yeah, like that. Like I, I thought that. Like before. I'd, I'd be able to fight people over with the Nords, and you could be down with the Rodox, basically. Yeah, I mean, like I, I've thought about that before, and the way I always see it working out is that. You can have two separate people playing with two separate groups, or you can even join groups. Um, if someone else is doing a battle, the time will actually slow down on the person who's moving, and it will say that the other person is in a battle, um, whether you want to reveal the location or not. So you can either watch it, or or your guys would just slow down to basically a halt, so that way if you want to move over to reinforcements, it would take a pretty long time, like it would in real life. So you can actually move over there, so time wouldn't be as fast. Hmm. Um, but also the game speed would have to be slowed down because if you've ever seen this game on regular speed it is just absolutely horrendous um, but either way uh, I think we're going to end it here yep. uh, but you know, it was definitely good reconnecting getting this thing out there and um, we're just going to start posting more often so anyway this has been Psycho and Goblin and uh, peace out Warchag um, because I'm really trying to find Sea Raiders. Sea Raiders like to Tenor, hang around this place. No, they're so. not. They weren't Sea Raiders. Those guys were. Actually, Sea Raiders hang around here as well. Um, there's usually a couple Sea Raider camps around here. Tracks. They don't tell me for what. Oh, Sea Raiders. There we go. 15 to 16. Now, that may seem like an unfair to fight. Six. 15 to 6. That may seem like an unfair fight, but I He's gotta tell you He's gonna lose not. about four people. That's my estimation. <laughs> Running from Captain Crunch. I'd run from Captain Crunch. I wouldn't run from Captain Crunch. I, I, I would run from Captain Crunch. There we go. See, that armor that that guy's wearing is actually pretty good armor. It's like medium armor. That dude also has a porn stash. Yes, he does. Kind of scares me. So, this is going to be a slaughter for you men. Actually, um, yeah. Well, I mean, we're probably going to fare pretty well since we do outnumber them. But, I mean, they're not going to go down without a fight. Look at those guys. Those are pretty good armored out guys. And I just can't hit anything. I can't hit the broadside of a barn today. Hey, you hit one for four damage. Why don't you just take out your ask and ask and start swinging? I think I'm gonna ask them some questions. You missed. <laughs> I forgot. I keep forgetting how bad people are at the start. <laughs> like we have tons of experience with this game, okay. but that sometimes doesn't even matter. Well, my excuse is one, I don't have a lance. Two, it's been a while. So, yeah, I played this game like. A I can't get enough of this game. I hate you. This game stole 257 hours from me. You know that, right? No, I don't. But, um, pretty fun story about this game, actually. When I first introduced uh, Goblin to it, he actually, um, he actually stayed up pretty much all night playing it. Like, literally, I went to bed at 4 o'clock and he was playing it. 
and I woke up at 11 o'clock, and he was still playing. I thought he got up earlier than me. And no, I didn't. I just didn't go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I was. I ended up with that guy. I was like a lord for a dude, and I had like a village. Nice. Now, if I put that same time into it, I can become a lord with like three castles and like two villages in the town. I do not have the money to upgrade them. Fucking sweet. Look okay. at that. Look at that armor that you're buying. Okay, so 36 and 11 to 25. First of all, sweet schwang schwang. Taking that. Uh, actually, 39 6 now. I'll take that. I'll probably give that to Artemis since he's in my group and I just realized that. Um, spear. I'll take that. i take the shield. I will take the shield as well. Boots. Same boots. And that's, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we're good here. You need to go to a town and settle all that crap. I do. Um, Just go to Warcheg. Yeah, let's go to Warcheg. Dun 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 We'll probably run into some people on the way there. Just remember that you have to give that that special stuff to Artemar. Let me actually do that right now. Um, oops. Uh, party. Um, he is wounded. Talk. Coughing up blood. That's how wounded he is. Wow, he's enthusiastic. Yeah. Rel 99 would do put on cheat code or something. I would never do that. I'm actually very despised. I, I despise cheat codes. Okay, so. Now you look like a badass. And we ruined it. <laughs> okay, so we'll give you that. Give you that. You need to give him a shield. I don't have you a shield. You give him all oh, these weapons and you act like he's going to use any of it. When he has <laughs> he's going to run in with three weapons at once. Hold on, wait, wait. You want to put the axe behind the shield. Oops. Yeah, there you go. That so way, that way he uses that set of weapons. Yeah. My guy looks like a badass with these two things. And then he got the boots. Wait, how did you just make money? Um, what oh, they do yeah, is yeah, they take your existing money, and then when you actually loot, you get money yeah. afterwards. So. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's just science of the game. Yeah. So what, what's your plan for playing this game so far? Um, pretty much make a lot of money. Probably befriend, uh, probably bef befriend the Swati and start doing missions for them after I'm powerful enough. Mm -hmm. And kind of work my way from there. Caravan guard. Never ever hire those people. I mean, they're great at first, but they cost too much money for what they don't do. Um, let's go to the marketplace. Local arms merchant. Okay. And then probably buy some food. Why don't you sell your furs? I'm gonna do that to the food guy. I'll do one of these to this guy though. No, you're gonna receive 468, you only have 458 before. It's not worth losing. Problem solved. Goods merchant. He's never gonna be able to move those items. <laughs> Ever. He just lost so hard. Um, so first of all, you grain. Just, you just basically traded your food for the, those furs. That's basically what's going to happen, because you got to buy plenty. Yeah. Uh, smoked fish. Th there's a couple of things in this game that don't go bad. Like, pork will go bad, beef will go bad, dried but, meat doesn't, yeah, dried sausage meat doesn't, cheese doesn't. Fish don't. Bread doesn't. Fish, smoked fish. Vegetables don't. Vegetables don't. Well, Cabbage fish. is just disgusting. I would never give that to my crew. I must pay ten bucks. Okay. okay, I'm cool with that. As long as we have tons of food, like I don't want to be out in the middle of the field because I go ham in this game and totally forget to feed my guys. So yeah, I don't want them to you'll drop be around because you of that. Them, like you'll only have half of your troops one day and be like, "What just happened, sir? Everyone died of famine." Uh, oh, ooh, well, that's <laughs> what happened. Mountain Blade Ireland. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. <laughs> no potatoes. <laughs> Pretty mm. sick if you can have potatoes in this game. I'm thinking, um, I'm only gonna do one more segment of this game. It's going to be the, uh, the Last Days mod because it's a very hefty mod. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be pumping that out. We'll keep this one. I'm thinking, uh, next playthrough. Oh, hey, look. This guy's actually gonna run back to. Whoa! Okay. Okay. 14 to 13. I'm cool with that. 
I, it's just if if the other group came in at the same time and it was like fourteen to twenty seven, I would have just crap myself and left. Can anyway, you, can you use your spear and you? cliffhanger because I'm a dick. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Check out the next video for what happens next. We're probably gonna go through these two battles. And uh, peace out.